Soul Magic is pretty much all in the key of G minor. Um, kind of sneaks around a couple other chords here and there, but pretty much it's in G natural minor uh, because it's the E flat. You hear the E flat chord. Um, you wouldn't want to put a E natural, of course, make a Dorian like a lot of guitar players might mistakenly do. It's like the sound too good on the E flat, so that automatically tells me my ear tells me immediately, as well as my the theory that I know is that it's, uh, it's G natural minor, of course. Uh, so everything else kind of kind of lines right up in the key of E flat. So as long as you use your ear, look, you know, there's a lot of times you can break it down into chord for chord and, and say, oh, I'm playing the third on this chord, the fifth on this chord. But pretty much when it's all in the same tonality, the same key, you kind of you're landing your ear should kind of tell you which notes are the good ones to land on. You know, um, in the key of C major, there is an F natural in it, but that's like the worst note in the world to land on. Things like that. There are certain notes that just work better than other ones for different reasons. And we can analyze it to death, but really the bottom line is your ear should tell you which notes are the tasteful ones and which ones are not the tasteful ones. But for the most part, uh, when it starts changing chords, uh, I try to follow the arpeggios. Now, even though it's all in E flat, um, I was still kind of playing, you know, playing the arpeggio of the chord. And keeping chord tones in the melody help keep it grounded and keep it melodic too. Um, continue on here, I'm looking at the chart. For a second there goes to D7. So when, of course, again, when you have a dominant seven chord, you kind of, the sky is the limit. You can do all sorts of crazy things. You can just go just straight blues. A lot of times, D7, I might just go back to the original key and play blues and G pentatonic. Results really nicely. Or I might want to get a little bit jazzy <coughs> and throw that little flat nine. <coughs> Especially resolving to a minor chord, the flat nine and the sharp five of the five chord sound really nice, helping you resolve back. So those are just, it's nice to have options, you know? But for the most part, um, I'm keeping strictly on E flat. If something goes out, then I'm following it with arpeggios. I'm arpeggiating the chords again. Uh, the end is. You know, once again, I can when it, when it started going to D. With that kind of B flat. Um, yeah, I'm pretty much taking D and D blues over both of those chords. Um, Lydian. And that B flat chord, I'm kind of playing um, kind of D minor, so I'm staying in the blues world there. Hope that all makes sense. That's soul magic. Pretty much using your ear, following chord tones, and nailing the new chords on the downbeat, playing the chord tones on the downbeat of the new measures. Hope that makes sense.